Oh, hey, this is Greg. In this video, we're talking about the new AI video tool inside of Canva powered by Google's VO3. Is this a game changing step forward compared to the options we had before? So what is this tool? Who has access to it? How much can you use it? And how does it compare to that old tool? We're looking at all that in this video. So let's dive right in. Okay, so where do you find this feature? This is a new Canva AI feature. So you can find it under what I like to call the Canva AI hub, and you can access that from the Canva home screen two different ways. So first you have this Canva AI button here, so you can follow that button up there. Or if you're back on the home screen, you can also follow this Canva AI button in the left menu. Either one of these is gonna bring you to this screen. Now, the new option here is this create a video clip option. So to design for me, create an image, draft a doc code for me. We've covered those all before on this channel. And just as a reminder, or if you're new to this channel, the best, best way to stay up to date with all things Canva is by signing up for my free newsletter. So I will post a link in the pinned comments down below on a free resources page where you can download lots of cool stuff related to Canva just by signing up for that newsletter. But this new option is this ability to create a video clip with Canva. So if we click on this now, we have some options in here and we have this prompt box and we can type in something and create a video. If you are a paid Canva user, that is, or if you're a nonprofit user, uh, because if I hit the X button here just to back out, we can see that yes, there is this crown icon here. And that lets me know this create a video clip feature is a pro Canva feature. And that was echoed in a news release Canva did yesterday. So they have this article here and it lets us know that this is Google's VO3 technology that is driving this particular new iteration of creative video in Canva. And so if you want, I'll link this article and you can read through this article. But one of the things it says in this article down here is it says us right here, this is limited to paid plans, pro teams and enterprise and Canva nonprofit users. And then it goes on to say the initial limit is five video generations per month but it also says we're working on expanding availability of this feature. So only five per month, that doesn't seem like a lot, but you have to keep in mind, this is very resource intensive at this point that should improve and hopefully go down over time. But for now you have to be a paid Canva user and you have five uses of this new tool a month, which I assume is five video generations. And another thing I'll mention on the design with Canva channel, Ronnie also did a tutorial about this new create a clip feature. And in that video, he said for this to work currently, you have to have your Canva account set to English only. So right now I think this only works if your Canva account is set to English, but that may change in the future. And again, I haven't confirmed that, but this channel here designed with Canva, Ronnie and Deanna who run this channel, they usually have really good information. So I'll post a link to that video below if you wanna check out their video. If you wanna check out their channel, their channel is just another good resource if you're interested in learning Canva. So jumping back over here to the Canva interface, you should have this option if you are a paid Canva user and if you have an English account. If you are a free Canva user and you still wanna take this for a test drive and play around, what I can do is place a QR code on screen and also a link down below that will take you to a 30 day free trial of Canva. I'll just note this is an affiliate link so it doesn't change anything for you, but it does mean I can go on to earn a commission if you end up signing for their pro Canva service. Of course, you're only gonna sign up if it makes sense for you. Okay, so let's dive in now to what kind of results we can get to this tool and see if it is vastly improved from that old video generation tool we had in Canva. That old method I'm talking about is something that still exists. So if you remember, if you're back here in the project interface and you go under the elements tab, we have this AI image generator. And if we click on that, there is a video option in here and it says right here, 50 credits. So you actually, if you are a pro Canva user, you also have these 50 credits for this version of the video generator. But the last time I used this, the results were pretty bad. So let's try it again, but we're also gonna try the same sort of prompts in this video generation. We'll do a side-by-side -side comparison. Let's see what we get. Let's see how good this new video generation model here is within Canva. So here's what I did. I went over the chat GPT. I told it I wanted to compare these two versions of Canva's AI video generators. And I told it I was gonna give it a basic prompt, like a woman walking her dog. That was gonna be my main subject across multiple videos. But since I have that five video limit, I wanted to create five videos 
with different styles. So we're gonna do realistic, cartoon, 3D, illustrative, cyberpunk. So three different video styles. And then within those styles, we're using that same main, main subject of a woman walking her dog, but I told it it could add in other details for scene, mood, lighting. As you probably know, when you're writing any sort of AI prompt, including these descriptors, scene, mood, lighting, feeling, all these things can really add to the results you get. So we're gonna add those in. So it generated these prompts for me. And so I'm gonna use these prompts. Now you may know, or you may not know, when you're using this old version, there is a 280 character limit. So I also asked ChatGPT to generate alternate versions of these that would meet that uh, 280 character limit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use these very similar prompts and we're gonna compare these two video generation tools to see if this new one really is a step forward. Now I'm not gonna make you watch me enter all these prompts, I'm just gonna skip ahead to the results. But just as an overview of how you use this tool, it works just like the create an image tool where you put in your prompt up here. As mentioned, you can build in lots of things into your prompt, which is what I recommend, but you also have some drop downs down here for some decisions you can make if you wanna control the style and other things with these drop down categories. And then once you have it uh, done, you click this blue arrow to submit that. And then it's gonna bring you into a dialogue that looks like this. Uh, and it's gonna take a minute or two and it's gonna generate your results. And once you do that, you can ask it here if you wanna change. Now, when you run a change like this, it's gonna generate a new video and I suspect it's gonna use a new credit. So be careful with that if you try to enter something after the initial video generation. And then as you do start to have these video chats, they're gonna show up down here in these recent chats or in the sidebar here. So you can always step back into them in the future. Now, when you run out of credits, you'll see something like this. So get your popcorn ready, let's take a look at these and then we will talk about the results. Okay, so what did you think? The first thing that just jumps off the screen to me is this is a huge step forward in terms of quality. With that older tool, there's just too many render issues or too many weird fragments. It's really hard to get something that's usable. But with that new tool, it really seems like you can get some professional level, high quality results. We're also getting longer clips now before we would get four second clips. Now we're getting eight second clips. And did you notice the sound? There wasn't sound with the old tool, but now you're getting sound that goes along with your video. Now, when I actually ran that first prompt, I didn't have anything specifically in that prompt about sound. But then when I realized that yes, it put sound on the clip as well, then I started to build that into my prompt. So that's just another layer of prompting, a little tip for you as you prompt. Yes, you wanna talk about emotion, you wanna talk about the style, you wanna talk about the lighting, the scene, the action in the scene. All these things can go into your prompt, but now you can also build in something about the sound because it is gonna give you a clip back with sound that matches what's going on in the scene. So that is also really cool. Another big takeaway is that yes, this new tool was able to give me good results 
when I ask for very different styles in terms of the artistic medium. So that is something you want to keep in mind when you put into your prompting. You can ask for something that's realistic, but also if you're doing a cartoon style or something different. I mean, look at the three clips that are playing behind me now. They are drastically different in style, but I was able to get a good result in each of these mediums. So I think this makes this tool potentially even more useful and potentially gives it a chance to match what your needs might be. Now I say what your needs might be, and that really is a big key here. And that sort of gives me a chance of making a little soapbox speech, if you'll just bear with me for a second. We all know there is absolutely no end to the amount of absolute garbage you're gonna find on social media, the internet. And this tool is great, but you get five uses. Now hopefully that's gonna go up in the future, but five uses where you can generate eight second clips. So 40 seconds of content. Now it's endlessly fun to play with, but you could easily just blow through all your uses very quickly. In fact, you'll notice in that fifth video, I did not get a result. That's because I accidentally ran a test. So if you're on this screen here and you see they have some examples and other things, if you click on one of these, just know it may use up one of your credits. So even though they have some examples here, when you click on them, it starts to generate a video so you can use up some credits. So you got to be careful and how you allocate your credits, how you make use of your credits. Uh, because again, you can generate things that are just fun, and that's great if you wanna do that. You can generate things for fun. But if you actually want something that's meaningful in your business, that stands out, that actually is useful to you and not just part of the noise out there, then you're gonna think of, have to think about how you're gonna use this tool. So potentially, I think this tool could be great for generating clips that were sort of part of the B-roll if you're doing marketing videos and you just need some filler content and so you need some B-roll that's on brand or something like that, it could be great for that. Uh, maybe if you're making presentations and you need some sort of slide transitions, maybe you can use a tool for something like that because we are talking about smaller clips here, okay? So if everybody's doing the same thing and if you're just generating part of the noise, it's probably not gonna get the attention you want it to get, but if you can somehow make it match up with who you are, make it authentic, keep it honest, then perhaps this is a tool that really can be valuable for your business. So I think that's the first thing with a tool like this as it's now reached a point where it's giving you usable, high quality results, is what are you gonna use it for? What are you gonna use it for that's meaningful for your brand your business, how are you gonna use this in an authentic way? So that's really my advice to you, get in there and play with this, but keep in mind, you do have that limited number of uses each month if you're a Pro Canva user, it's five now. I think it probably will climb in the future, but they are gonna to have to limit this since it is so resource intensive. So how are you gonna use it? How are you gonna take the most advantage of it so you can get value from this new tool? But it is a huge step forward in quality. So I hope you check out this new image creation tool in the AI Video Hub in Canva. And I'd love to hear in the comments down below what you like about this tool. Do you like this tool? Uh, try it out, let me know what kind of results you get. Now also, I wasn't able to run that last prompt. I was kind of mad about that. So feel free to take that prompt, run that prompt. Maybe next month when my credits renew, I'll rerun that prompt. Anyways, thanks for joining me. If you like this sort of content, just give a like to this channel. Again, down in the comments below, you can also get some free resources on my free resources page if you sign up for my Canva newsletter. Thanks again for watching. I hope you like this tool and I'll see you again soon, I hope. Everything I do, so instinctive and so passionate. Every word I move, so descriptive like an adjective. I got a vendetta against people who patented it. Being negative when you should be getting after it. I got facts over facts over tracks. This and that, spitting slow, spitting fast. I could roast, I could gas. Think I'm okay at last, but I don't know if that can erase all the past.